this is what color, this is that? No, uh, blackish color. The blackish color? Yeah. So here, you guys all hear that. Mm -hmm. um, Jeff, you want to say it again? Do you want me to? So in this, in this particular uh, analysis, we focused on a, on a almost black area right here. And relative to the first analysis we did, there's two to three times more iron in this one. So this is a, a iron black pigment uh, with some lead in it. Was that over near the belt? That is, uh, where's your... It's this uh, oh, okay. black area here. So that's Eurydice's garment, yeah, not Hermes' garment. So this is the kind of thing where you see, you get a sense that they're not just using a single pigment, but it's the multiple pigments. Presumably that, that earth-based, iron-based um, red pigment, and then combine that <coughs> with presumably red lead. It's also possible that this could be a, uh, a lead white. Yeah. And in basically the 5th, 4th century BC, the Greeks basically invent the use of lead white in painting. Yeah, this is one of the most revolutionary developments in the history of, of painting. And it's that lead white that is used as the primer for all of these old canvases that you see until it was replaced with titanium white in the last century.